When someone hires me for a project on base, um, the first thing I try to do is ov obviously communicate and uh, try to get a gist of what they're trying to accomplish with their music. I'll listen to their tracks. Uh, they normally send uh, an MP3 uh, or a WAV file of uh, um, a rough mix of their song, maybe a guitar and vocal, maybe with drums. Uh, so once that happens, um, it, trust becomes a pretty big issue. So at that point, what I do is I listen to the music, I take uh, any kind of directives that uh, may come in, and then what I do is I choose an instrument. You know, it may call for, like, say, a fretless tone. It may call for, like, a Fender jazz bass tone. If you don't know, that's okay. If you have an example or a sample of something that perhaps may fit, please don't hesitate to send it. Let's talk a little bit about bitrate. If you tell me what bitrate you're working in in your digital audio workstation, aka DAW, I can deliver it in the exact same format. So can most of the players. These are just like a few tips on things you should know when you're uh, um, hiring somebody to um, play on your track, no matter what it is. It really just ensures a very smooth, uh, communicative, uh, wonderful product at the end. Uh, what you should expect to receive is a, uh, a strong, uh, raw signal with uh, uh, very little effects and things so that you could take the track, the WAV file that, that you'll be sent, throw it into your mix and just basically process it any way you want to. These are some of the ways that I recommend that you uh, communicate with the person that you hire to do your uh, tracks for you, no matter what instrument. And uh, if you follow some of these examples, you'll be insured of a very smooth project most of the time. Hey, don't hesitate to call. I'm not going to stop you. If you'd like to uh, hire me, please come to my profile on airgigs.com, read about me, and uh, listen to some of my samples. And I hope you have a great project. Thank you.